See, once again, Abram's faith is wavering. A crisis strikes now. And he begins to take matters in his own hands. And you know the whole story. God uses crises. He uses the most difficult times in our lives to give us fresh revelations of who he is. Of his power, of his might, and how he delivers. He uses crises. He's in another crisis now. He's taking matters in his own hands. He really doesn't believe that he's going to get this child, so he does it himself and he produces an Ishmael. Now, 13 years go by. Ishmael's 13 years old. He's 99 years old, and he's totally lost confidence and faith in this promise. And when Abram was 99 years old, the scripture says the Lord appeared to him and said, and here's another revelation of who God is. And looking at it from different ways, and God is showing its nature, who he is, so that he can have confidence that his faith would be encouraged and put upon a firm foundation, that he'd be fully persuaded of God's faithfulness. The only reason God is speaking this word to you and I this morning is to encourage our faith, to put a rock-solid foundation under your confidence in Him, that you'll be fully persuaded that God is everything He says He is and will do everything He's promised to do. And when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Here's the revelation. I am the Almighty God. The actual pronunciation in Hebrew is El Shaddai. In our modern language, it's El Shaddai. But it, the proper pronunciation is El Shaddai. And God was speaking personally now. This was God's own voice. Now I'm going to tell you something else about me, about my nature, that you have to understand if you're going to continue in faith. Because everything depended on faith. All, the, all of the plan of God was dependent on faith. Without faith it's impossible to please Him. They that come to Him must believe that He is, that He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And He says, now, I want you to know, Abram, I am your El Shaddai. Now keep this in mind, Abram, I am the God who removes all obstacles. I'm not just boss of all creation. I'm not just the creator. I'm the one who removes every obstacle in the way. I am not bound by nature. I'm not fettered by man or beast. I'm not fettered by anybody. I can do anything at any time. Nothing binds me. I am your El Shaddai, God all-sufficient. I am the God who keeps his word and no obstacle can stop it. There are no mountains too high, no valleys too low, no waters, no oceans, no rivers, nothing. No floods can hinder. When I say it, it's going to be done. Nothing can stop my promise. All powerful, all sufficient, and it also means keeper of my word. I am the keeper. I guarantee my word. You see, God saw Abram wavering in his faith. And Abram now is looking at all the impossibilities. I'm 99. I'm a dry tree. My wife's womb is dead. There's no hope. He's losing hope. He uses every crisis that we go through as believers to build our faith and to hold us, to face the ever-increasing intensity of our crises and troubles in life because we're going through a wilderness. This was a revelation of God's name, and he knew that God cannot lie. God had sworn to him, this is who I am. If you get your eyes off your impossibilities, get your eyes off of those things on your job, get your eyes off your family problems, get your eyes off of everything, I'm your El Shaddai. I made you a promise. I'm sufficient. Glory to his name. Now he'd say, he's made me a father of nations. This is what he said he's going to do. He's going to do it. This newfound faith. That he has now, this all-sufficiency of Almighty God enabled him also to get his new name. He is now called, after this revelation, he's called Abraham. God added his name to Abram's name. And now they're united in a special realm of faith. You have to be fully persuaded that your El Shaddai will keep the promise. There has to be a full persuasion. I, I know a lot of people say, I have the promise. Yeah, but do you really? Are you fully persuaded? That God going to do what he said he would do? Is that going to bring rest? The evidence of faith is rest. If you're not at rest, you're not in faith. 
If you really have faith in who he says he is and what he's promised to do, you don't have a worry in the world this morning. Because all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. You're at rest this morning because you're trusting in him. Because he said he'll not let the devil have you, not let anything happen to you. But such is common to all men, and even in your temptation, he'll make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. You see, God had made a promise to Abraham, I will be your shield and your exceeding great reward. Those were covenant promises. We call it the Abrahamic covenant. But he's saying, no enemy's going to hurt you. I'm going to deliver you. I'll be your reward. I'm going to maintain you. 